All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for our call this morning with Zane Durant. As always, please raise your hand and I will unmute you. We'll start with Rich Carcello. Thanks, Bob. Good morning, Zane. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Zane, can you uh, tell us maybe some of the younger D linemen and even offensive linemen who have stood out in spring practice? I'll say a younger guy, not alone in the D line that stood out, uh, the middle lines day in and day up. Um, with him having that experience that he had last year, I guess that kind of uh, catapulted him into the spring ball, and he's been playing really well at a high speed. Jaden Gallon. Zane, uh, on the interior um, of that offensive line, what what have you seen from Cooper Cousins uh, coming in as as an early enrollee? Yeah, he's a um, He's one of the more experienced young guys that came in. Uh, he know what he had to do. He worked on his technique, so his technique coming in was pretty well. Uh, but he's still a young guy, but he's working. He's working to get better every day. Tyler Donahue. Hi, Zane. Hope you're doing well. Um, curious about Abdul Carter and what you've seen from him in his first, uh, you know, first camp at the defensive end position. What What do you think have been the most encouraging signs that he's going to be special at this spot? Oh, I'll just say his culture, um, his his ability to take culture. He's uh, he's taking everything in like a sponge. Uh, we tell him the details and stuff like that to help him um, pick up on sets and stuff like that. And listen to everything. So that's how you know somebody's going to be great when they're very coachable. Joe Smelter. Hi, Zane. Thanks for the time. Mm -hmm. So now that you're going into your third season, this is the point where the younger players start to become veterans. With this being your first spring, uh, your your spring and year free, rather, how would you say um that you've kind of handled whatever added responsibilities come with being more of a veteran player? Oh, well, I really I I haven't added any um responsibilities. I just take it day by day and be who I am. I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. Um, everybody know I'm a genuine guy with energy. So every day I come with energy, even when I was a freshman, I came with energy. So I'm just being who I am. Joel Haas. Hey, um, you have two teammates at a uh, defensive tackle who chose to use their sixth year and come back. Um, what have those guys kind of meant to you, and what have you been able to learn from them? Oh, those guys mean a lot, man. When I came in, they took me under their wing and showed me the ropes to the new position I never, I never knew before. So I had to learn the technique from them. So having those guys back is huge for us. I mean, they can pass it on to the younger guys and coach them how they coach me up. Rich Carcel. Dane, what kind of spring has Nick Dawkins had at center? Well, uh, he's been improving, man. He came in in the beginning, and he was a little rough, but Nate, you can tell he's picking up, he can't come up with a position. Near the, near the end of practices of spring, he's been he's been dominant. Daniel Gallon. Zane, when when you look at coming into to year three, how how do you feel like you've changed the most as a player since you got here a couple of years ago? And what are you still looking to develop at this point in your career? Uh, so as a player, me personally, coming to year three, I, I think one thing that I have grown on is just my my ability to be coachable and just take uh little things for every little like scenario. So I have a situation happen to me, and I look at like why this happening. Well, I just take certain lessons from that and try to add it into my life in football on on and off the field. So I feel like that's my biggest thing that I grew from year one to year three. Um, and going into this year, I feel like I got to improve my pass rushing. I mean, I'm an elite pass rusher. I just got to show it on Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? Tyler Donahue. James Franklin told us last night that he thinks uh, Denai Dennis Sutton's going to have a big year. Uh, he talked about the physicality and the intensity that he's been bringing to practice on a day-to-day -day basis. You came to the campus with Zane uh, with uh, with Denai in the same freshman class. So, how have you seen him be consistent through these three years, and how have you seen him maybe progress, change in meaningful ways in those three years? Yeah, I mean, he came in the same way, hard worker, um, and was silly extra hours, early, late. Night, you know, that's my roommate now. So we always talking about ball, breaking it down, just trying to find different ways to dominate the opponent every day. So I think I think as him, he just he's just a guy that has a motor, relentless motor and it doesn't stop. So I think that's what benefits him and his uh his ability to play football. Max Rout. 
Hey, Zane, thanks for your time. Uh, we heard from a couple guys last night that this has been a really physical spring, uh, maybe more so than years past. Do you agree with that and why? Yeah, uh, I do. Um, I'll just say by, by, by the way we balance. So everybody has an experience coming back this year. We don't have too many young guys uh, like how we usually have in the past, but we've been going to war every day. So I think we just, we all on the same court this year. We're trying to bring home one of the big ones, you know what I'm saying? So everybody got a point to prove. So I think that's how we take it. We take it a little personal this year. Time for two more. Daniel Callum. Zane, uh, you've got four uh, early enrollees uh, in, in the defensive tackle group. Mm -hmm. you know, with, with Liam, Xavier, DeAndre, and, and TA coming in, what can you tell us about them um, and, and how they, they've come along? What, what kind of stands out about those guys? Well, I, th I think those guys, they got, a, they got a huge upside. Right now, they just got to tap into it. Um, Xavier's been improving every day. I, that's one of my guys I took on my wing personally. Um, he's been working very coachable and uh, effort player. So I think he's going to have a huge uh, upside to him. And the whole class, they kind of come with energy. So that's how you know you're going to have a good D-line group when they, when they come with a lot of energy. Tyler Donahue. Zane, I just wanted to, to ask about another guy in that defensive uh, in that defensive line room with you. Uh, Zariah Fisher um, seemed to, to really uh, you know find his footing last year coming off the injury. Um, I know he, he got a lot of love during winter workouts. Um, what do you think is, is in front of him here in year five on campus? Everything's in front of him. It's, it's for the taking. So he's just got to be willing to know what he got to do to get there. And, um, everything is in his grasp. He can do anything he wants this year.